1972, the first generation of the BMW 5 Series is released to the market. Following the very popular new class, the 5 Series marks the beginning of an unbelievable success story. The first generation of the 5 Series was a big step towards modernity. It established a new BMW design language. It was bigger, more comfortable, sportier, and basically superior in any way compared to its predecessor. Already in the 60s, the foundation for the BMW design is laid. The first generation BMW 5 Series strengthens this design language in the 70s and establishes it as the trademark of BMW. To provide the BMW 5 Series with a certain dynamic, we gave it a wedge shape so that the radiator grill would be reminiscent of a shark. The headlights with a diameter of 20 centimeters, which we were using back then, were difficult to integrate. By comparison, it's marvelous how creative you can work with LED lights these days. We have many design icons which are already implemented here. It's the starting signal for the modernization of the model range in the 70s and is presented in completion for the first time in this model. The interior portrays space and comfort. The instruments, switches and control elements are grouped around the driver. I had the idea to create better ergonomics. This is why I envisioned an ergonomic movement stretching from the steering wheel towards the gearshift assembly. I used this approach for the first time in the BMW 1600 Ti. Subsequently, it was developed further in the BMW 520 and later in the BMW 630 Coupe models. Inseparably of the first generation BMW 5 Series is the introduction of the model series nomenclature. We have single figures which identify the model series, followed essentially by two figures which represent the engine's cubic capacity. We deliberately left space between these single figures, the 3, 5, 7 and the 6 series, to be able to implement further models. At the heart of every BMW lies its engine. Looking under the hood, it already promises sheer driving pleasure. The 5 Series of the first generation is released on the market in 1972 in the 520i version with four cylinders, but the range of engines keeps growing. Only one year later, we added the six-cylinder engines from the luxury class into the 5 Series. They are known for their smooth, quiet running, the distinctive BMW sound, and set standards in the upper mid-range class. For example, the BMW 528 packs an impressive 165 horsepower under the hood. Despite its weight of 1.4 tons, it accelerates from 0 to 100 in less than 10 seconds. Additionally, the subject of security plays an important role in the BMW 5 Series. For the BMW 520, we used computers for the safety-related elements. There was a type of roll bar at the roof, providing protection in case of an accident. In case of an impact, we calculated the crumple zones in the back and in the front with the computer. The production of the first generation 5 Series starts in the BMW plant in Munich. The enormous growth and the increasing sales figures in the 60s lead BMW to open up a new factory in Dingolfing. From the fall of 73 onwards, the 5 Series is rolling off the assembly line in Lower Bavaria. This plant was built for big model series, but we were confronted with criticism from the press. A few weeks after the start of the oil crisis, when we wanted to produce the 5 Series there, the echo in the press was rather negative. But the decision was correct. In 77, we already produced over a third more automobiles with 290,000 units. Today, the first generation of the BMW 5 Series is considered a classic. It lays the foundation for one of the most successful BMW model series. Between 1972 and 1981, the 5 Series was sold almost 700,000 times.